The second question is, how do you deal with rejection of not getting into certain schools? So I say for this, definitely have like a reach school or a dream school, but don't put all your eggs in one basket. Like have the backup schools. Um, have at least one school you're like 99% sure you'll get into. That way if maybe for some reason you don't get into like three out of the four schools, you have that at least one backup and then you can go to that backup school for maybe a year, half a year, and work on getting your grades up and then going to a school, applying again to the school and going there. Um, I applied to a lot of safe schools. Uh, not safe, but, yeah, safe <laughs> schools. schools are sure they were good, they're good schools, yeah. but I was like, I'm pretty sure I'd get into these. I was a very average student, so I wasn't too worried. I did get waitlisted from Endicott. But that's because I applied late. <laughs> I missed the deadline and I still sent my application. So I kind of knew that I wasn't going to get in. And they did waitlist me and then I just, I wasn't really that interested. So I didn't keep going. Um, but I say for rejection, definitely, um, you know, it is sad and it, can, it happens to a lot of people. So I'd say like, don't get your hopes up too much. And then just, you know, take your time. Try going to another school and then reapplying or... Maybe if you don't like that school, transferring to another one. Like, you always have that option of transferring. Um, there's, uh, I was going to go off one of your points. Uh, I'll go there's off the last so point. so many. Um, <laughs> if you get rejected from there and if it's because, oh, uh, if it's because of grades or something, you can try to appeal um, the decision. Uh, so if, there's an article about it on College Express, actually, about how to write your appeal. But if you end up, you know, your mid-semester grades are like, eh, but then your like end of semester grades are stellar, you can try sending it to college and say, look, here's X, Y, Z reason that you should let me into the college. We consider your uh, your decision very politely, very standardly, not like you should let me in. Here's why. <laughs> no, that's exactly. <laughs> yeah. Send them a video of you just doing that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, you don't want to be aggressive with it, but there are, like, polite ways to do it. Um, also, like we talked about uh, in the last question, uh, going to a community college for a couple years and then saying, look, here are fantastic grades, and then trying to transfer into that college as well, um, especially if it's, like, a school that has an articulation agreement with a certain community college. That's an easy way to get in um, to that school. Well, it's even uh, bouncing off of that point, too, is if you're, we talked about majors and wanting to go for a specific major to a, a school, and if you have your heart set on a specific major and you get denied, reapply for a different major, yep. um, and then you can work inside of that silo <laughs> and, and kind of make your way into that program. So there's um, that route, too, which ends up working out great. But, I mean, let's get to the real point here. So how do you deal with rejection? Yep. Jazz music and ice cream. <laughs> All right, so you sit and down. Jazz down. music. You gotta love that song. Right? <laughs> um, I love your ice cream. Yeah, I'll go with the jazz music too. Yeah. But uh, yeah, rejection is like that. Nobody likes being rejected. Um, but it's with everything. Is uh, if you don't try and then receive whatever the the outcome is, at least you tried. Um, yeah. So it's gonna hurt for. Two seconds, whatever it is. Uh, Two seconds. Everybody takes, <laughs> yeah. however long it takes to finish the ice cream, listen to the song. But it only takes what I will say seconds. is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it um, takes me two seconds for ice cream. <laughs> the, um, you melt it and then drink yeah. it. <laughs> microwave. <laughs> well, well, next video. Microwave. Do that. Yeah. microwave. <laughs> next college cooking. Rejection <laughs> ice cream in the microwave. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but what I was going to say, though, is for for me personally, I what Mackenzie had said was I applied to five different schools, and I definitely had, like, reach schools, and then I had the ones that I felt like I was definitely going to get into. Um, but just, like, a fun story, I guess fun now, but looking back on it, not so fun, was uh, they start coming in, right? You get your acceptance letters and your You're making me nervous. <laughs> no, no, no. So, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> uh, so my first one comes in from Stonehill College. I was like, easy. This is my one of the <laughs> easiest schools. I opened up. You've been rejected. Like, oh no! <laughs> uh, so it ended up working out. That was the only one that rejected me out of the five. So the reach school I got into, but that one for whatever reason, I don't know. Uh, Stonehill. <laughs> but um, yeah, they, 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 they accepted me. They just didn't give me uh, enough money. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's um, 
I think the, that's the one thing is you don't be nervous when you get that in the mail and especially if it's the first one of your letters coming back yeah. and it's a rejection letter, <laughs> uh, don't let it get you down. Uh, the, the main thing is even if you get rejected to all your schools, which is worst case scenario and probably won't happen to most of you, you still have the option of going to a trade school, of getting a job, doing whatever. Um, it, it's not the end of the world, and then you can always get into a, a lower tier school and work your way up too. So I know College Express is all about college and all about getting into college and everything, but there are other things that you can yeah. do. So don't be discouraged if um, you get rejected hard. Also, <laughs> well, I'm going to be obnoxious per usual for me. Um, and be very cheesy, but, like, I'm a firm believer in, like, sometimes everything's just meant to be. That yeah, was not, that was very ironic. No, that's legit, though. I, I well, I said you. sometimes everything. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> sometimes everything. Um, no, I think, like, like, everything happens for a reason, and, you know, you'll probably end up where you're supposed to be. Like, I, I didn't get it rejected, but I didn't apply to a lot. Um... I probably would have if I applied to more reach schools. <laughs> Didn't even bother. Um, but my best friend got rejected from Westfield, mm -hmm. and she thought she was going to come. Like, we were like, this is going to be great. We're going to be right there. We're going to be close to home. We can hang out all the time still. And it was for the best. She went to um, Central Connecticut State, and, I mean, we both, like, got to make more friends. We got to do our own things, explore our own ways for four years we're still super close in, in her wedding like this year so I mean it all works out she was super bummed ate some ice cream I, don't, I think I think we skipped maybe Carly Rae Jepsen at the time I don't know yeah. but she's um not, she's not quite Jepsen. jazz but not quite jazz she'll, but she'll, bump she'll you do up. a trick yeah she's got some interesting music choices over there <laughs> Jazz, I'm thinking Carly of Ray classic Jackson. call me maybe. I don't know. Well, she's, she's got a g couple of good bops. Helps you get, get up in the mood. Get through yeah, a pint of ice cream. So that's what it takes, a couple bops. Yeah, a couple, couple of bops. A <laughs> couple of bops and Ben and Jerry's. Listen to some bop music. So. <laughs> Whatever. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> We're not cool enough, apparently. Oh, no. Jazz. Is <laughs> oh, um, yeah. So, so Just cool. be positive. Another way to, to deal with the rejection is to make sure that you don't go, apply to any schools that you don't want to go to. So, um, also, yeah, yeah. Even, um, just on that point, too, for money-wise. Yep. Um, because you most of the time you have an application fee. Yeah. So don't go crazy, yeah. especially if you're not interested in going Yeah, there. I am... Um, I like if you if don't apply to a safety school and be like eh, it's a safety school whatever I don't really want to go there and then if like the rest of your schools are reaches that's like if you're applying to all Ivies and then you apply to the one state school that you don't want to go to um, then if you get rejected from all the Ivies which even if you have amazing grades and you do everything like you're never guaranteed to get into an Ivy League then you're stuck with a school that you don't like so make sure that you want to go to any all all of the schools that you apply to I was actually really lucky I got rejected by the Two and a half out of the nine schools I applied to. Nine. Oh, I was like wow. really confused where you were going. Wow. I was told three reach, three like Ooh. standard and three safety. Mm -hmm. So I did that, and um, it was it was great. I got accepted to a lot of great schools. I would have liked to go to most of them. Can you explain the half? The half. So I I got um, rejected by BCC and BU, which I knew I wasn't going to get into. They were my reach schools. Like I'm also a very average student, um, and then I got waitlisted at Emerson. Oh, okay. And they were like, mmm, you're waitlisted. And I, like, had liked Emerson. And then I, like, went to the, um, one of the, like, open houses. And the students that were in, like, look, looking at the writing program weren't my kind of people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which isn't to say, like, anything against them. They're great students. Emerson has a great writing program. But I, it was a different sort of writing, a different sort of idea around the subject. Um, most of the people going there were like, oh, I want to get into creative writing and I'm going to be a published author and I wanted to look at more of the business side of things. And they had options for that, but my peers, who I would be taking classes with, weren't interested in that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of what, like, I didn't really want to, like I said, it's a great school, it's a great program, it fits for a lot of people, it just didn't fit for me. And I was actually kind of glad I got rejected because then I wouldn't have to be like, oh, yeah, I don't want to go to this amazing program. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's also, like, well, how you make the college, like, 
experience. Yep. You could make the opportunities really good. You could do a lot of good internships and still come out with like a really good degree and you'd have all that experience to take them into the real world. And it's, I feel like when you go into the real world after, it's like, yeah, you went to a nice school that definitely might give you a leg up in finding a job, but it's, you know, if you went to a good school and didn't do internships or didn't do any opportunities, like, that's not going to help you because nowadays they want experience. Like, it's all about it. Fun fact, the name of your college only helps with your first job. After that, they only want experience. That's why, if, that's that's why when you're applying to your second job, your education on your resume goes to the bottom because they, your employers are just looking at what experience you have. So if you um, went to a top tier school and then you went to your first job and it was kind of like low grade, you didn't get too much experience doing a bunch of different things, you go to a second job and they're looking for X, Y, Z qualifications. If someone went to like a state school that is not as top tier and they got more experience through internships and their first job, then it's more of a balance than like, oh, look at my fancy name, school. Ah, so Carnegie Dare really likes your eye. <laughs> they also like Champlain because there's three of us here. <laughs> Actually, they like Westfield. I think there's three of us here. Oh, really? Oh, sweet. Two or three, yeah. You have to compete? Yeah. I think I'm the only one. I'm the partner. I'm looking at you. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we have a lot of UMass. Yeah, there's a lot of UMass. There. But it is Massachusetts, so we get a lot of UMass. <laughs> that makes sense. But yeah, that's uh, for the experience. And yeah, going back to what I said earlier about even if you don't get in, to college and you have the ultimate rejection. Uh, it's not the end of the world because get that hands-on experience. And like even for something in my field is you can take like a boot camp for coding and it's usually like, I don't know, 500 plus hours or whatever it is. Um, and you graduate with a degree, um, you're certified depending on what program that you decide to go into. And now being in the position that I am, if I get a resume with something like that on, it's like, oh, I can see that you have the technical experience, like show me the work. In the college depth doesn't really matter that much. Um, I, that's different across all the fields, yeah. um, but for something that's definitely uh, hands-on tech uh, related where it's just can you do it and can you do it cleanly, that's really what matters.